Hello again, Bob Stockberger, pastor of LifePoint Giles. Welcome to our midweek devotion. Today we're going to talk about a little bit about Psalm 46. Uh, I love this psalm, and we're just going to look at verses 10 and 11. And listen, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with me, the God of Jacob is my fortress. A little earlier in the same psalm, about four verses up, uh, it says, even though the nations rage and the kingdoms totter, he, he utters his voice and the earth melts. So be still and know are the key words here. Be still and know that I am God. Be still. That means just what it says. We have to be quiet. We have to listen. We have to have a quiet time. And when we miss out on that, we're not still. So how are we going to know God? How are we going to know what he's doing in our lives? And I will admit, I am the chief of sinners and I have a hard time in being still. I have a hard time uh, sometimes struggling to continue quiet time as carefully and as reverently as I should. But we're to be still. And in this world, when kingdoms, and I love this, the nations are raging and kingdoms are tottering. We even look in our country right now and we think, man, is this country going to make it through the mess that we're going through? But when we're still and we know that God is who he says he is, we have a fortress, we have a foundation, and he will be exalted. Now, the word to know, as you, uh, we've talked a lot in, in the Hebrew language, it is to know intimately, very much like a, uh, a married couple who are intimate physically and intimate uh, emotionally and spiritually. And when God knows his people, that's what it implies, a very intimate knowledge. And we're to know God. Now, a lot of times we are still frustrated. We know God, but we get upset at some things that happen. But we have to remember we're still in this fallen earth is in between. Jesus has come and he's going to come again. And when he comes again, listen to this beautiful verse at the end of 1 Corinthians 13. And I love this verse. Uh, he's talking about we see in a mirror dimly, but then we'll see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know, know the same word, know fully, intimate knowledge, even as I have been fully known. So what that means is God knows us completely. He knows everything in our heart, every thought, every, uh, every word we utter. He knows us personally. And when we are in heaven, we will know God more completely. We will understand why there's evil, why bad things happen. We will understand things that we question now and struggle to find answers for. So we will know fully when we are with him. But right now, we're to be still and know that he is God. And we're to exalt his name in the words we speak, in the actions that we carry out every day. We want to exalt his name in all the earth and exalt him among all the nations. And when we do that, we are growing, drawing closer and closer to him. You know, I struggle sometimes trying to practice what I preach. I love to preach, but I don't practice it all the time. Just ask my wife. There are times in my life that I am um, very rude, very um, uh, uncaring, very... Um, uh, don't have any patience with anything. And that's ridiculous. But I'm a sinner. 
but by the grace of God, I have a fortress. I have the Lord of hosts who is my fortress. And when I am still, when I am quiet, when I am in my, in, in my Bible studying God's word, I get to know him more deeply and more powerfully and see him work in my life in the life of our church at Life Point Giles in ways that are just unimaginable. So I exhort you and I exhort myself to be still, to be still and have our time with God, to be in his word, to be in prayer and to listen and to know him. And that's exactly what happens. The more faithful we are, in our quiet and our still time, the more we know him and the deeper and deeper in love we fall into the arms of our living God. We just I pray for each of us that we will be still and we will know God in a deeper and more personal way every day of our life. Pray with me. Father God, so often, I find myself so busy or preoccupied with other things that are really not that important in your kingdom. I am in sin so often with uh, many things that I do, lack of patience, lack of um, understanding. Lord, forgive me, forgive us. Father, I pray for myself and for each of us that we will be still, we will be quiet, we will read your word, let it sink in. We will pray and then listen to your mighty word that you will speak through your written word and through the power of your Holy Spirit. And may we know you more deeply, fall in love with you more deeply and exalt your name every day in the words that we speak and the actions that we take in our lives this day and forevermore. In your precious name I pray, amen. Pray that you'll have a blessed week. If you don't have a church home, visit us, Life Point Giles, 600 Taswell Street, right in the heart of Parisburg. We have Sunday school at 1015. We have worship at 1115 every Sunday. Come join us. Love to see you. God bless you.